Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate 2 Throne of Ball. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today in a tavern that apparently everybody wants to come to, but not, not a whole lot of people are here. Uh, we were instru instructed to come over here be by uh, by somebody. I, I remember this name anyway. Zaki Rafeha. He's the, the owner of this fine establishment. It isn't that bad actually, I, although I'm not really sure what the floor is made of. Is that sand or sandstone? I'm not really sure. Let's have a chat here with Layla. She seems to be serving the people around. I hope our establishment's to your liking. Huh. She says, uh, I don't seem like the rest of the monks or the rest of the soldiers that the monks have hired. Yeah, so we're in a city. I don't remember the name. Amkishram or something like that. Um, and uh, yes, apparently the city has been betrayed by the monks that supposedly lead them. And uh, we met somebody over here that we actually need to talk to uh, last episode. Um, we'll talk to them in a little bit. Let's have a chat with this maid. Good day to you. Oh, I have heard there are numerous prisoners being kept in the fortress. Ball spawn even. They say that Balthazar is hunting his own kin and imprisoning them. Interesting, no? Yeah, kind of. And I suppose you're gonna sell got things to me. Beer for ya. Hello to you, my friend. More travelers coming to tiny little Amkathran, eh? Be you yet another soldier for hire, or that our that our good Balthazar is called for? The good, good Balthazar. Hmm. No, I'm not. No. It's not often that we get travelers passing through Amkathran, especially in these times. Welcome to Zephyr, then, my good man. Zaki Rafeha, at your service. Can I ask you a few questions? Certainly, certainly. I'm not so overcome with business that I cannot answer a few qu queries now and then. <laughs> ask away, dear men. So, um, what can you tell me about Balthazar? Balthazar is the leader of the monastic order within the fortress, and has been for quite some time. He's, uh, not overly popular, as I'm sure you are well aware. Uh... Mm, perhaps. Tell me what you know. The monks have always been supportive of Amkathran, providing guidance when it was necessary and even protection from the creatures that sometimes come out of the Kla Kalim Desert. We have always been grateful for their presence, yet they, the smugglers, they and the smugglers who bring us supplies to live. Since Balthazar assumed leadership of the Order, however, nothing has been the same. The Order ignores us. They apply restrictions on the smugglers and have even killed some, restricting the supplies the village can be brought. And then there are all mercenaries. All the mercenaries. Wait a minute, how do you apply restrictions on the smugglers? I thought smugglers re were people outside of the law. If you apply restrictions, you you, you kill them? Because that's the only... How... What? I... Hmm. Oh, I, 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 think, I, I think I see what it is. Maybe there's smugglers from other places. They're outside of other places' laws, and this law... Uh, I see. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It is to be expected, I suppose, he says. Many say that Balthazar is one of the terrible spawn of the dead god Ball. He prepares for war, no doubt, and we simply pray that this war does not come to Amkathran. Yeah. He's a ball spawn, huh? So it is said, he was brought here long ago by the mage Melisan, who protects him. We fear that the old tales of destruction brought by the children of Ball may come true after all. Hmm, yeah, I, I fear that might be the case. Uh, do you know anything about that Melisan woman that you talk to? Melisan is a protector of all Ball's children, it is said, just as Elminster, Elminster protects those who are... My, who, why such a mage would protect God's spawn, who only bring terror and destruction, I do not know, nor does anyone. I know little else of her, however, my friend. No one has told me of seeing Melisande the Mage for many months now. Hmm, it's interesting because she came here before me, but sure. Tell me about... Oh, I mean, she said that. Anyway, I'm not doubting this guy's uh, word. It, 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 it really doesn't have any reason to lie to me. So tell me about the Order of Monks in the Fortress. There is little to say. The Order built their fortress in this little remote place long ago. It is said they are an ancient order of warriors that once fought for an ancient Shah and uh, were exiled when he was murdered. The village grew up around the fortress, depending on their goodwill and guidance, which was received in abundance. At least that is, until Balthazar became their leader. Now we are strangers. Huh. I kind of... How exactly did he become their leader? That's kind of weird. If uh, Did he just campaign with different ideals in mind or did it just shift their ideals and hire or elected him or something or did he just come into the position for lack of a better word how, how, how does one get inside this fortress I do not know Balthazar sees no one and has not for months the gates are well guarded and even protected by spells placed by Balthazar's higher sorceress to force entry would be foolish Marcus I can tell just by looking at the defenses of that stronghold that a direct assault would be pointless says uh, Sarifok. Perhaps the smugglers know of a way in. It is hard to say. Word, word carries of boasts... 
Word carries off boasts by a few of them that they have stolen into the fortress secretly for acts of thievery. This may be nothing more than idle tales, however. Is there something else? Uh, yes. Tell me about the Order of Monks in the fortress. Oh, there is little to say. The Order built their fortress in this remote place long ago. It is said that uh, they are, they are uh, an ancient order of warriors that once fought for an ancient Shah and were exiled when he was murdered. The village grew up and the fo Oh, I just asked this. Yeah, right there. Uh, I, I was thinking. Uh, so let's see, uh, what are all the mercenaries uh, uh, around here for? Well, if I could tell you that, Kasadi, then I, uh, I would know far more of the goings-on on this of this world than I would like. I hear stories occasionally from the mercenaries when they came uh, come here, and they frighten me. I have heard tales of great wars and destruction in the land beyond the desert, and while the Orders have never involved itself in such things before, it seems Balthazar has changed things. He plans a war, a great and terrible war, but I do not know against whom. Hmm... What can you tell me about that, uh, that fellow that I talked to last episode, Marlowe? Oh, only a little. He's a stranger to Amkathran, arrived only weeks ago. I do not believe he intended to remain. Indeed, I suspect he has been traveling for some time. But his daughter fell, Ill, fell ill, or so I hear. He has been a little crazed as well. He blames his daughter's illness upon the undead creatures that are said to have arisen in our graveyard caverns. Poor sod. Poor soul, I mean. He, he drinks much, but it seems to do him little good. Yeah, well, it, it wouldn't that be the case. Um, let, let me see what you have. The many pleasures of the Zephyr are yours to indulge in, good customer. If I have the supply, there is. These days, one can never be sure. Hmm. Do you have any pineapple juice, please? Because that is amazing. He doesn't actually have anything. Each Ooh. Hmm. Huh. I think I have this one. The Silver Ion Stone. Plus one wisdom. Hmm. I wonder wh why that's the only item of interest that he actually sells. Everything else is useless. <laughs> Absolutely useless. Well, not useless. If you find a magical golem, I might as well. Uh, let's drink Evermead right there. It is said that several of Balthazar's secret guests have been bolspawned themselves, but that after their arrival, they have never been seen again. Yeah. Several of the village elders have been spreading word of an old prophecy of Orlando and of the terrible destruction and savagery that will be visited onto the Sword Coast by Ballspawn. Everyone is terrified. Are they terrified? Is that really rumors that you would tell me if I pay for your best drink in your tavern? Hmm. Please, please spare me. I beg you. Saving wench! Begging won't save you now! We will make a harsh example of you, and maybe others will think twice before they steal from us. Please, my daughter meant no harm. Her motives were pure, even if her actions were wrong. Pure? How do you justify your daughter's theft of her hard-earned gold, Mayor Harad? People are starving. Food is scarce. Hassan needed your money to buy bread from the black market to feed the poor. The problems of your town are not our problems, Mayor. Your excuses cannot justify your daughter's crimes. Stay clear, Mayor. You can do nothing here. Make peace with your god, Asana. Your life is forfeit. Please. Will no one help my daughter? Will no one stand against these brutes who have invaded our town? Hush, father. The townsfolk are scared. They will not intervene. I must accept the consequences of my actions. No, this is not right. Asana has done nothing wrong. But you just said that she has. Or, how, how did you put it? Even if her actions were wrong. Yeah, she has done. Actions done, yeah. Anyway, you, there, stranger! You are surely not afraid of these mercenaries. Can you not help my daughter? Uh, yeah, actually, I wouldn't mind that. Uh, because it seems a mayor would probably have something to give me that mercenaries wouldn't. Also, because these mercenaries are probably all gonna die at my hand later. Uh, so, um, at this point, I, th I don't see any reason to let everybody die. Um, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I will do whatever I can to help. Thank oh. you. Yeah. I fear those mercenaries will execute the center right in the street if someone does not speak to them on her behalf. Oh, Please wait a minute. Hurry. I, thought, I thought they really were about to execute her. But there we go. Okay, so hurry. It is our objective, yes. apparently, to hurry. Do I know you? There's a, a, a wall right there. This does not concern you, stranger. Move along. Uh... Yeah, well, I, I will make my own my decisions about what does and does not concern me. Are you looking for a fight, half-elf? Because you might get more than you bargained for. <laughs> yeah, you can't bully me around like like these stupid, idiotic townspeople. Good. I was worried our fighting skills were getting a mite rusty. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, let me see if I can kill you without... Oh, 
Apparently the, the... What is that guy trying to do? Or girl, sorry. Mm, yeah, it's going well. It's going well for me. Uh, this is definitely not more traumatic the, uh, to the townspeople around here than... than her dying. Thank you, my lord. I cannot truly repay you for saving my life, though my father might have some small reward for you. Please excuse me now. This has been most upsetting. Yes, I imagine it will. It would. A thousand experience for killing these guys! Come on! Oh, boy. Well, there we go. Uh, it wasn't... It wasn't really anything too extraordinary to help. But now I'm gonna extort this little mayor for money. Because, uh... Well, I did save his, his daughter's uh, life. So, is he gonna call me My evil? My daughter owes you her life. I wish I had more to give. But I insist you accept this small reward. I will tell all of them, Catherine, how you saved my beloved Asana. That's good as well. And actually might pay, p play into our hands later, if uh, we need to convince people that not all born spawn, namely me, uh, Imoen, and uh, Saravok, uh, that all, not all born, born spawn are terrible people. Well, Saravok can be excluded. And also her, uh, but yeah. I, I'm not terrible people. I know I'm chaotic evil. That doesn't matter. We got a boy over here. Hey, boy. Do you need my help or something? Got a monk over there. Who are you? You don't want to go in that tavern. That's where we bury our dead. But now it's full of, full of really bad creatures. Oh, not tavern. Cavern. My mama says. The priestess says they're all undead. But she can't do nothing. And Balthazar won't help and kill them for us. My papa says the stranger's, stranger men brought the cave the creatures here. He does. The stranger... Are you talking about Marlowe? I don't know his name. Said he was just passing through, but his little girl got really sick right after the, he arrived. Then he started acting all spooky and scared, saying the dead were coming for him. Sure enough, I guess they did. And Papa says that's why Balthazar sealed off the, uh, the cavern. I can't even go and see Mama's grave. Huh. Any idea how to get by the barrier? Not really. Papa says you need magic, and if you has it, you can just walk through the barrier. Balthazar did. Papa said he saw him do it. But I, um, I didn't say nothing to you about anything, okay? You gotta go! Oh boy, he's fast. He's really fast. <laughs> Excellent technique, says the mercenary captain. Anyway, we need to come over here to the northeast of town. Over there, Marlowe's, uh, place. We have the Smuggler's Cave and the Cave of the Dead. And we also have, uh, Smitty and Arcana Archives 2. Why is it... Why do you feel the need... That's not... What? That is a s stupid joke. You see that in restaurants and all the other places for a very simple reason. You can't just steal some somebody else's name for a legal reason. If you're in a different t country, not a, not even a different town, you can use whatever name you like. It, uh, what, I don't even. You there? You must be one that Balthazar is expecting. Uh, perhaps I have some questions. Any questions you have can direct can uh, direct to Balthazar himself. Gather any of your friends. Balthazar comes. Oh, does he now? Oh, I did. So, you must be the ball spawn Melisande told me of. I've been expecting you. Yeah, I'm he. I am Balthazar, head of the monastic order here in Amketherin, and its ruler as well, although that is not an official position. Melisande preceded you and told me of your coming. Melisande has already left the village and did not say where she was going. She has left with me directions for you to reach these enclaves, she mentioned. Is this what you expected? How can I trust you to give me proper information? I know nothing about you. And I know little enough about you, Ballspawn. Melisande has vouched for you, however, so I'll tolerate your presence and give you what you need. Here are the maps to the enclave, uh, enclaves Melisande mentioned. Neither of them are very far from here, as you can see. Add them to your own map, if you wish. Do with them as you wish, Marcus. Amkathran is available for uh, your supplies and rest. Is available for my supply. What? Uh, do not disturb my own activities, and will come to or and will not come to grief. Is that understood? Um. Uh, yeah. Do not threaten me, Balthazar. Huh? It is not a threat. It is a warning. My own fortress here is off limits to you. Everywhere else in Amkathran, you may enter. Good day and good luck, Marcus. Well, he was pleasant enough. I mean, all things considered. My character didn't like him though, but wasn't too bad. And the boy is over there. 
Why Why is he over there? I don't know. But there we go. Uh, I must deal with two more ball spawn before I kill, eventually, Balthazar and eventually Melisan or whatever her name is. I assume I'm gonna need to kill her, but if, if I'm not, I don't, I don't really remember. I don't remember who the last boss is of this game, so at this point... How do I get up there? I wanna get up there! Can't get up there. So we got the smugglers... Seriously, how do I get up there? So... If I get it... Mm. In this light, it yeah. seems all the insects that prey on the living it have retreated to their shadows. They, they did. They, it's a thing. So I suppose... So that is... Is that the way out over there? Let's go in here. Let's see what what is up. Oh. These mercenaries have filed a complaint that you are selling stolen goods, Karras. This operation is closed, and all merchandise is forfeit to the monastery. No, it's not. I want to buy those stolen goods, so I'm going to side with them if it is my choice. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It is, as the well. The monastery's never objected to our actions in the past. Yeah, but it, it's quite clear. Basically, they file a complaint, and immediately the operation is closed, and all merchandise is forfeit. So, yeah. It is ridiculous. I, I agree with him as well. Tell us where his salmon is, Karis, and we will let you go. And then we have blackmail and probably bribery as well. His salmon isn't here. I haven't seen him in weeks. Then I will arrest you instead. For your sake, I hope his salmon shows up before we find it necessary to interrogate you. No, you can't do this. This is an outrage. When did the monastery become a puppet slave to the whims of a bunch of foreign mercenaries? Silence, Karis! Wait, what is this? It seems we have a would-be customer. Yep, in our please. Midst. Yeah, I'm the a customer. The infamous child of Baal. Infam famous. If the descriptions famous. of Balthazar are at all accurate. Look, boo, says Minsk. Everyone knows Marcus now. See how his fame spreads like a scented cloud from your furry backside when you have one of too many crackers. The fact that these men know you by mere sight worries me, Marcus, said Shahira. Yeah, well, don't worry, it's fine. We're gonna kill them all. Uh, tread with care. Our every move is being closely watched. Well, I would hope so. I could arrest you for being an accessory, ball spawn. However, I am in a generous mood. I suggest you leave now and don't interfere in our business here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we all know this is going to end in violence. Let's just get right to the good stuff. To arms, my brothers! We are attacked! Seems simple enough. I want to buy things, so you shut up. Actually, he doesn't get aggressive. Oh, he does. Uh, they might be about to kill Karas. That is bad. Yeah. That is bad. Let's select half of you guys. To oh, this is bad. Oh, they're not attacking him. Fantastic. Okay, so they, they're smugglers. AI is on. That's good. They're taking potions of whatever. That guy's healing himself, I believe. That's too late. <laughs> that is too late. What are you doing? Well, he's down. Thank you for your assistance in this unpleasant matter. I'm sure if his salmon were here himself, he would offer his thanks as well. Hmm. Yeah, looks like your leader has hung you out to dry, Karis. Uh, yes, well, uh, be that as it may, it's, I still think some type of reward is in order for helping us in this matter. With our erstwhile leader gone, the best I can do is offer you a discount on goods. The, the scope of my authority is somewhat limited in his absence, you understand. Uh, yes, that's, uh, you mean, it's, you mean every time I come back here I'll get a discount? Well, of course. You must realize that we cannot stay here in Amkathran now that we have been uh, involved in the death of several of Balthazar's envoys. I suggest you use your discount soon. Uh, if you return tomorrow, our little store will be long gone. We cannot stay and suffer the wrath of Balthazar's vengeance. Uh... Yeah, sure. Uh, let me see your wares or services. Peruse our wares, but do not tarry. Time is money, and we can afford to waste neither now. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see what he has, and this is gonna be good, hopefully. Uh, I can go with uh, a few of these bullets uh, right there, because I'm gonna start... Uh... No, I don't need them. Sell them. Eh. Uh, so what does he have that'll be good? Uh, let's see. Potion of Perception? That isn't too bad. I don't think I have too many of these, so I'll take them. Thank you. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, who's talking? That's you. Okay, so just to see if I need any of 
these things, uh, nope. He just, he does have a lot of stuff, but nothing really that I would want. I can sell him some of my stuff as well. Clothra, or something or other. This is a throwing axe. Uh, okay. Uh, it's not just a throwing axe, it's also melee. Hmm, what kind of weapon is this? Axe. Oh, sure. Uh, okay. Mm, anything else? We have war hammers. We have a gem bag. A glasses of identification! How do we not have this? I thought we had this way earlier in the game. Not that we need them, but... It's... it's just... It... Uh, <laughs> I don't need them, but they're cool. They're really cool. I don't remember using them a bunch. Uh, in my... my... Some of my playthroughs, anyway. I don't know why we didn't have them earlier. Ruby Ray of the Reversal. Uh, that's the other thing. That's, that's cool. Ooh, Gargoyle Boots. Immunity to Backstab. Stone Skin twice per day on charge abilities. Uh, it's interesting. We have uh, Akiru's Full Plate. Plus three. I'm minus two over there. I don't think I need this. Uh, does anybody... Can anybody buy this, actually? Or use this, I mean? Yes. All of our four guys liked that. Uh, that's good. Do we have anything else? Not really. Okay. So only a minus two, uh, minus six, and minus five on slashing and piercing. Let's see if I need any of that. Uh, so you currently have a minus two. That's a little bit better on uh, the other stuff. You currently have a minus two as well. Oh, that's that's a that's a similar armor. Oh yeah, we we definitely want that. We definitely want that. What uh, do so you wish? I like to see your wares and get, let me get that armor. Mm, it's not that one. Which one is it? Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's a 200 sword plus something. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Where is it? Come on. There it is. I, I didn't actually look at that, but it's good. It's good. Thank you. And we have a cloak. Oh, what? Uh, yeah, we got this as a reward, didn't we? I mean, we must have. Uh, so this goes in here. This has got to be kind of full of everything. Do I have anything here that I really don't need? Like potion of invulnerability. Let's take all of that. And put them... Well, I, I need them. And put them over here. Uh, this thing is good for you. Do you carry red dragon scale? That's plus, fi plus 50 percent uh, armor resistance or fire resistance. We got magic resistance over here. It's not, it's not a bad armor at all. So go with that. And you carry that around. Actually, you carry that around over there. Uh, and this thing. It is not usable by good, evil, or neutral. What? So it's not usable by chaotic. It's not usable... Oh, it is... It's for true neutral. No, it... What? So it's not usable by neutral evil, neutral good, or true neutral. So it can only be used by lawful evil? That doesn't make sense. The enchanted cloak of the man who trained the most... The famous ranger Dritzt do Urden undoubtedly possesses powerful abilities. However, since this cloak is missing the enchant clasp which keeps it in place it is virtually un uh, useless yeah it's totally useless <laughs> what is that <laughs> how did I get that that's a weird thing um, sure um, okay so I'm gonna keep around the rest of the stuff you know, I'm not gonna need that uh, okay so let's see what I get out of killing these guys a little bit of gold that's all good uh, so I'll see you later, I guess. Maybe. Probably not. He doesn't really sell too much stuff. And we have smugglers back here. And some stuff for us to take. I'm thinking. So no traps. We got a couple of locked chests. Okay. Let me see if they get upset. Let me also uh, save the game there. Because if they get... Ooh. Okay, so these are, these are traps. Stop that. There they are. See, you can see them. They're just useless. That's fine, but they don't mind me taking that stuff. Good stuff. Okay, all of that goes to me, and that as well. Some potions. Potions are really, really heavy. <laughs> I mean, you you want a, a, a full stack, right? And it's just it's heavy, heavy. Okay, because it's twenty three pounds of each, and it's like just look at that. Anyway, let's go. Let's get out of here. We have nothing else to do. Well, actually, we might have something else to do over here. Because I came in here because I thought we could get uh, up to the upper level of town. But I'm thinking now that maybe we need to actually you be able to get... You your party before venturing forth. Let's go. Be able to get into the city proper. No. I have no idea. I have no idea how to get up there. I'm... F maybe mercenaries are taking... Mercenaries are fighting each other? Look at that. Sure. Uh, I mean, they're training, maybe. Who knows? Uh, let's go in here to the... Oh, 
An invisible wall of force keeps you from entering the cavern. You shall have to find a way to dispel it before you can enter. Okay, so I'm th yeah, I'm really thinking that maybe it's just a matter of um, of us gaining access to the interior of the city. There's no bridge connecting this. This appears to be some sort of elaborate sundial. Yeah, but I can't get up there. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm gonna need to need to look it up. Let's look at what we can do in terms of finding the ball spawn that we need to kill, apparently, uh, to be accepted into the city. So we can. Well, we need to do what we need to do. It's not. It's not really up to me to decide, and not up to Marcus either. Well. Yeah, so we have Sendai's enclave over there and Abizagal's lair. And uh, Sendai and Abizagal are the two, I assume, are the two, um, the two ball spawn. Let's get to Abizagal first, because that's an interesting name. Uh, so the mercenary is still going to the cavern, but I don't think, I, I think that's just an hangover from, uh, from the previous area. There must not be any tavern in here or any mercenary. I'm going to save over here, because this looks like it's a pretty big area. That uh, is probably housed to a pretty powerful being. Who dare disturbs Draconis? More pestering emissaries from the cloistered monastery. Surely when the last batch did not return, Balthazar would have learned his lesson. No, I see I am wrong. You are not brothers of the Tattooed One. I smell the taint of Baal on you. No, that's just Minsk. It's never mind. Stand aside, Draconis. This is between me and uh, Abby Zagil or whatever. I don't even. My father warned me of you, Marcus. The Ball Spawn kin who who would steal his destiny and my birthright. Your your father? Are you Abby Abby Zagil? What are you? His son? As if a mere half-elf were even worthy of having an immortal's essence flowing through their veins. My kind are the only people deserving of all state. Your kind? What, what kind is that? You cannot stop this. The Lord of Murder shall rise again, and I shall prove myself worthy to Abazaga by bathing in your tainted blood. You're a dragon, aren't you? He... I, I imagine you would be pretty big if, uh... Okay, he's casting spells. Let's see what he casts. Invisible Stalker. Oh, that's fine. Well, we're out of time for the day, so ooh, he's coming. So let's continue this fight on the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Baldur's Gate 2 Throne of Ball. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.